Hello everybody. We talked about virtualization and VMware on uh, Delphin Developer today. So I thought I would just give you, you know, a quick overview of how I usually work. Um, so let's start with uh, the Delphi tab. So I'm running Windows. I think this is Windows. Yeah, that's Windows 10 with Delphi 10.2 in this case. I also have 10.3, of course. Uh, many different versions. And uh, at the same time, I'm running Ubuntu Linux in case I want to test something. For example, if I'm uh, making a service in Delphi and I want to test that, does it work on Ubuntu? I can just, you know, do that straight away. Um, and if you run things like the uh, VMware tools, um, then you could also, you know, share files. Uh, you can set up a file share, for example, uh, on your real computer, a folder that is shared between the instances. At the same time, I'm also running a, uh, this is, I think this is Windows 7 or something like that, uh, with Smart Mobile Studio. And that means, for example, I can do the server part right here in Delphi. I can then test that it works on Linux as well, you know, do a build for Linux. And then I can create the user interface in Smart Mobile Studio, which is, uh, you know, one product that you can use that for. Uh, there's also a ton of other uh, solutions for web. Uh, Embarcadero has a couple. You have uh, like IntroWeb, for example. So there's uh, there's many different ways of doing this. But uh, obviously, since I kind of created this, <laughs> it's uh, natural for me to, to pick this one. Um, yeah, but the cool features are, you know, not just the ability to run uh, an extra OS or a virtual machine. Uh, it's actually when you start looking at the functions. Uh, snapshot is probably the uh, the most powerful one. Uh, now, snapshot is not the same, you know, like a screen grab or something. It has, it has nothing to do with uh, pictures, um, and I say that because the first thing you first thing you see is you know, like no screenshot available. So um, at first, I actually thought it was you know a screen dump. First time I saw it, uh, then I realized that uh, oh. Snapshot is actually a complete clone of your system or a complete snapshot of your system at the point that you take the snapshot. Which means that, for example, if I'm, if I'm going to install something like a new component set uh, or I'm going to do an update for Delphi, for example, uh, then I can click take snapshot before I start. I continue installing and check that everything works and maybe a driver doesn't work or something that means that I have to roll back. Uh, then I can just go in there and just roll back uh, the snapshot. So it just takes one second and you're back where you started. You don't have to uninstall, you know, uh, spend 25 minutes uninstalling, cleaning up your drives, deleting, you know, uh, excess folders that are left behind and stuff like that. You just click revert and that's it. So that's one of the features. Uh, you can also do a bit more with the snapshot. For example, uh, you can take a snapshot of this virtual machine. You can also take a snapshot of the snapshot. So if I create a snapshot now, and then I take a snapshot out of that one again into a third one, then I can build up a whole sort of a whole you know tree view of different states. So I can install Delphi, let's say Delphi uh, ten point two in one of them. I can install 10.3 in another. And then if I have a legacy project like XC5 or something, then I can also install that in a third snapshot. So you can build up a functionality tree if you like. So that's one of the features. Uh, you also have things like manage and clone. So you can, do, uh, you can do a full clone, which is basically a complete copy of the whole system, the whole virtual machine. So you get a unique duplicate. Uh, or you can do a partial clone, which is, you know, just it just takes the differences and store them in different files and different virtual machines. So both are useful. But uh, obviously the cool part here is that you can do several things at once. You can make them share files or a, a region of your real hard drive. And then, of course, you come to the debugging, remote debugging. Uh, you can do testing on one of them. You can uh, debug in, uh, inside a virtual network, for example. You can set up a shared network that 
only those three machines will actually find each other. So you can do stress testing, load balancing, all of that stuff. It becomes so much easier. And should something happen, you know, you just roll back, you clone out copies. Uh, one of the things that I do is uh, instead of having, you know, one virtual machine fits all. I usually, if I have a customer, uh, okay, we're going to use this version of Delphi. Okay, then, then I clone out a copy of that and then I install the components that the that the customer is paying for, basically. Uh, and then I keep that virtual machine uh, in case the customer wants updates. That way I don't have to, you know, look around, oh, uh, I've deleted those components. You know, it's been four years since I did an update for you. I will always have that virtual machine backed up on a big hard disk or something. So you don't have to go looking for it. You know exactly what you used. You have the components, everything, the customer, you, you know, the dependencies are available straight away. So it's so much easier to work with. You don't have to, uh, you know, run around uninstalling everything and installing old components, for example. So that was a really, really quick, just, just a quick overview of what you can do if you install, for example, uh, VMware or Parallels or uh, any of the options out there. I prefer VMware because it's 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 high performance. It uh, was by far you know the fastest uh, of the three that I tested. But uh, it was a long time ago since I tested, so it, it could be different now. So just find something that works for you and uh, and give it a go. Okay, cheers.